The other day, I was having a conversation with our daughter, Bonnie. This was through Marco Polo. And I, I'll tell you about that conversation here in just a little bit. But as I was listening to her speak, and she was showing me around the house a little bit, the thought came to me, is this what it's going to be like when I die? I know, kind of a strange thought, huh? I hope so. I hope so. The, the feeling that I had as she was talking just was such a warm and, and comforting feeling that I hope that, that those thoughts are really how it's going to be. So let me go back and I'll tell you about our conversation. And, and the events that led up to it. The last several weeks, apparently they have been, they, the kids, the grandchildren, have been partying a lot at my house. And when I say party, I mean everybody gets together and they laugh and they talk and they eat a lot of food. <laughs> That's our parties. That's what our parties are like. But they've had, they've had several different occasions where they've gotten together. I can't remember what the first one was. And they're not done. They're not even done. Um, they've got a birthday party here in a, a week or so for Aunt Linda. And what are the other things? Oh, Ellie and Jared and the little ones came up for a visit. Um, Oh, I can't even remember. Oh, Sherry, they had a birthday party for Sherry the other day. And so it's, it's been kind of a happen in place. And Bonnie sent me this Marco Polo and she says, Mom, I, I, she was just giddy almost. She says, she says, I feel like I'm the mom right now. She felt like she was responsible for all of these get togethers. And they were happening in my house because Bonnie and Joel, if you're not familiar, are living with their channel and my channel. Bonnie and Joel, Bonnie's my daughter, and her and her husband and family are living in my house right now. And they're having all these parties in my house. So it's as if I was never gone, okay? It's as if I never left. And she told me how much fun it is to be hosting these parties while I've been away. Well, she said that as they are having these parties, she says, Mom, we talk about you and Dad all the time. You are always in our thoughts. And they mentioned me, I guess, quite a bit. And they said that little Clara, she, she was looking out the window and all of a sudden she ran back over to Bonnie or her mama and said, I miss Grandma. Oh, that just made me feel so happy to hear her say that she missed Grandma. But she's also there at the house playing with their cousins. They're continuing to make memories. They're continuing to um, nourish their love and friendship with one another. And I'm not that far away from them in their thoughts. And that just made me feel so happy. And and. I was watching, oh, they were, they had some, I know what it is. Um, our neighbor had sent us a little video clip and he was standing on his porch and it was about a 15 second clip and I'll put it in here. And he was showing five of our grandchildren as they were cleaning off the driveway and the sidewalks of our house and not only our house, but his as well. Now that was sweet. That was the sweetest thing ever. First of all, for our neighbor to think of us and to send us that video clip and for our children, grandchildren to be out doing that and taking care of grandma's place while grandma and grandpa's place while we're away. That was pretty sweet of them. The thought when I watched that was like, I'm, I'm getting kind of a glimpse of heaven. I'm getting kind of a glimpse of what it's going to be like when I can look down upon my children and get these little little glimpses of what they're doing and to see them down here in 
playing and being happy and just having a, a nice time and going about their lives is very comforting. And then to know on top of that, that they're thinking about me and grandpa, that's even better. So I don't know if that's kind of crazy or not, but I'm gonna throw a few little clips in here from what the Bonnie and the other children have sent me. What I, some of the clips from her Marco Polo. It's just the sweetest thing ever. You probably are all thinking this lady is nuts. Or maybe not. Maybe you've had the exact same thoughts that I have. I would love to hear them. If you did, leave them in the comment section below for me. I read all the comments. I just don't have time or the energy to answer them all. But I do read the comments and I do appreciate them. For me, that little glimpse that I had, that little thought that I had was very comforting, very reassuring to me. And I know, I know that this life is not the end. Life will continue on and someday probably I'll be looking down upon my children just like those little glimpses that I got in this video. I'll be able to look down on my children and smile and know that life goes on. They're happy. They're, they're working through it. And they think about me once in a while. And that is very reassuring. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I do read the comments. I do read them. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Well, Mom and Dad, I hope you don't get sick of me saying this, but... I feel, I feel so lucky to get to live in your house. I spent the whole day in the kitchen making soup, you know, putting together the food that we needed for Sherry's birthday party today. I just, it feels really fun to be hosting in your house. And I feel like the luckiest person in the world that I get to, I don't know, play the mom <laughs> like sherry even said she goes she goes thanks for opening up your place <laughs> for my birthday party and i thought well obviously this is like still grandma's but it feels really fun to be the host i guess i don't know but i just wanted to tell you how much love is filled in your home and the parties are still here and we think about you the whole entire time we talk about you um, Julie was talking about how they read their letters. Oh, we sat and was, uh, talking about your letters with Bo. Um, and that was really fun. So anyway, lots and lots of love here. Lots and lots of love from us to you. I've been thinking about you and I haven't, you know, text you and you know, you hate to be like, well, what's new, but also, you know, cause it's just like, what is new, but we love you and miss you and think about you every day. So anyway, hope you're having a good time.